Hi there, good day and welcome to TechWatiyar. I am Janira. In this video, let us perform the implementation and verification of shift registers. We will be performing 4-bit serial in serial out, serial in parallel out, parallel in serial out and parallel in parallel out shift registers. Let us understand what a shift register is. It is just a group of flip-flops that is used for storing multiple bits of data. And data in shift registers can be moved between the registers or in and out of the register by applying clock pulses. You can connect n flip-flops together to form an n-bit shift register. So there are basically four types of shift registers, serial in parallel out, serial in serial out, parallel in serial out and parallel in parallel out. So we will try and understand the functions and the operations of these shift registers. In a serial in serial out register, as the name suggests, data is sent through a single pin. So there is serial data input and output is also obtained through a single pin. And in serial in parallel out, data is transmitted inside through a single pin, whereas you have four outputs or parallel data outputs. The same way in parallel and parallel output, we have four input data and four output pins that provide us the output data. Same way for parallel and serial out, there are four or parallel data inputs and a single data output. Talking about serial and parallel out shift registers, just like we discussed earlier, there, are, there is serial input, that is input is sent through one single pin only, whereas the outputs are parallel. So here we have four corresponding output pins. So since we have four flip-flops, you can increase the number of flip-flops and you can increase the number of output pins that are available. So we will try and implement this a diagram using logism software and we will realize this truth table and verify if it is satisfied. So first we will be implementing a 4-bit serial in parallel out shift register. For this purpose we need 4 D flip-flops. We can pick it from the memory D flip-flop and we can put it on our screen. You can use Control C, Control V to copy and paste multiple flip-flops or you can just pick it and place it from the toolbox. Alright, so this has only one input that is why we get we call it serial in and it has four outputs so we can just connect the outputs using LEDs and the direction of the LED is changed to south and I need four outputs so I place four LEDs. Now I can start giving my input and output connections so from here it is transmitted to the next flip-flop, the output of the first to the next, second to the third and third to the fourth. And from the fourth, it goes directly to your LED, over here to the LED, from here to the LED and from here to the LED. Now, there is a clock pulse that is required for our D flip-flop to work. So for that purpose, we select the clock pulse from wiring we select the clock and we place it here and the connection is given to all the flip-flops. That's all. Our serial and parallel shift register connections are over. We can use the poke tool. We give an input 1. You can change the clock pulse and see that it is transmitted to the first flip-flop and you get a the LED is glowing. So which means that you are getting a 1 here. The second clock pulse, it is moving to the next flip-flop, third clock pulse, the third flip-flop and fourth clock pulse at the fourth flip-flop. So this is the serial in parallel out shift register. Next we talk about a serial in serial out shift register. Here the data is shifted serially in and out of the register one bit at a time either in left direction or right direction under the clock control. So we'll implement this diagram using logism software and we will verify the truth table. So for a 4-bit serial and serial out shift register once again we need four flip-flops we pick it up from the memory. So the same D flip-flops we need four of them. And we are giving a serial input which is just one bit directly connected to the input and here also data is transmitted 
from one flip-flop to another serially and we need a clock pulse here once again so the clock pulse is chosen from a wiring clock pick it and place it clock pulse is once again common for all the flip-flops connections are given and this is a serial in serial out so which means that we have only one output so i place one led here at the output and i connect it to my last flip-flop and i can add a reset button also here and this reset button is once again connected to all the flip-flops Now I can change my input and I give clock pulse, first pulse, it has moved to the first flip-flop but there is no output, second flip-flop, no output, third flip-flop, no output and the last flip-flop and the information is obtained at the output. So this is the serial in, serial out shift register. So I can use the reset button to turn it all back to the initial state. In a parallel input serial output shift register, parallel data is loaded into the register simultaneously and it is shifted out of the register serially one bit at a time under clock control. We will implement this one using Logism software and we will realize the truth table. Now let us check the operation of a parallel and serial out shift register. So I have a shift or load bar here. I have a clock pulse and a reset pulse that is given. I have named all my inputs and at the output I have an LED Y. So now let me give the inputs. I give the combination 0, 1, 0, 1 and I give the clock pulse and you can notice that these D flip-flops has obtained the input values so here it is 0 1 0 1 combination now the shift or load is enabled and now I start giving my clock pulses so first it is a 0 so I have obtained my 0 with the next clock pulse I get a 1 and the next clock pulse I get a 0 and the last clock pulse I get a 1 so my parallel input is obtained as a serial output Output. A parallel in to parallel out shift register is one where parallel data is loaded simultaneously into the register and all are transferred together to their respective outputs by the same clock pulse. So we will verify the truth table of this diagram using Logism software. So now let us implement the parallel in parallel out shift register. I move to my hand tool, I give certain inputs and I change the clock pulse and within just one clock pulse parallelly all my inputs are obtained at the output. So the implementation of parallel in parallel out shift register is successful. The applications of shift register include parallel to serial data conversion. It is mainly used in analog to digital conversion. It can be used in serial to parallel data conversion in digital to analog circuits and shift registers are also called as sequence generators as it can generate a sequence of zeros and ones. It is also used in counters because it is basically made of D flip-flops. It is used in ring counter, Johnson ring counter and so on. I hope you had a fun time learning about shift registers. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.